a homeowner has spoken out after a homeless housing program fell through, leaving her with a tiny house in her backyard that she would have to pay for in 2017. Multnomah County in Portland, Oregon created a project called A Place For You where tiny homes would be built in residence, backyards for free if they let a homeless family live in it for five years. I think it was all set up to be successful, and then the ball got dropped. Homeowner Martha Chambers told local NBC affiliate KGW, I'd have to say it was. A failure Chambers was one of the first homeowners to partake in the project. In April 2018, a 288 square foot tiny home was built in her backyard at Kane, fully furnished with a kitchen, living space, small bedroom, and bathroom. The total budget for the program was initially estimated at 550000 According to a 2018 report by Multnomah County, it was funded by Multnomah County, the Joint Office of Homeless Services, and the Meyer Memorial Trust, I thought. Wow! This is a great idea, and I get to keep the house at the end. Chambers explained within two years. The family living in Chambers' tiny home, moved out after stress among neighbors arose. And then the COVID-19 pandemic started Chambers never got a new family in the tiny home. I felt abandoned, she said, claiming that there was not a lot of support or follow through from the project's organizers' Chambers ended up buying the tiny home from the non-profit join, which inherited the project. Homeowners said the original agreement was that they would keep the tiny homes after the homeless. Family lived there for five years however. In 2018, the county appeared to change the terms by explaining that after five years, homeowners would have the option to buy the house at a fair market price. According to KGW, Three out of the four homeowners who were picked for the program saw their families leave the tiny houses. According to people involved in the project, the one homeowner who had a family stay in the tiny home for the past five years told the outlet, the pilot project has the potential to succeed however. He did admit that the project needed more accountability and oversight the U.S. Sun approached the Multnomah County Communications Office for comment.